title for the thirst was uh, my my sort of working title was um, uh, uh, the vampirist, which is a, a psychiatric disorder where people are uh, you know feel the urge to um, not necessarily to kill but to, to drink blood from uh, from animals or um, uh, when it develops normally from uh, from people and um, some of the most notorious serial killers in uh, in crime history um, has it's been suggested that they have been vampirists uh, but this is a very you know uh, controversial whether vampirism actually exists uh, and um, so uh, that was sort of the starting point for uh, for the thirst and um, it kicks off with um, with a tinder date and there are several tinder dates um, during the the novel because it's uh, and that idea probably came just from me going to my local coffee shop and um, some years ago I started noting that people were sitting and like talking to each other and I thought it was job interviews it looked like job interviews and and the, and it, sometimes there would be a job interview there but then uh, I, I would get phrases from the conversation and I understand that no this is a this is actually a date this is a very awkward date <laughs> And I was, and I couldn't help myself. I, I had to, um, to try to stay close and 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 listen to some of the conversations. I, um, I have to admit, and um, and some of those um, bits and pieces of all those conversations are in the thirst. The thirst refers uh, both to um, the vampirism. Uh, that that may be or may not be going on in uh, in the novel, and of course to um, Harry's Achilles' heel, uh, alcoholism. There are quite a f uh, quite a number of new characters. Yes, there are some um, uh, some new police persons. Um, there's especially one uh, young guy uh, who is sort of, he, he resembles Harry actually in many ways. Maybe he's the new Harry Hole, I, I don't know. But, um, and of course there's a few new interesting villains also, but perhaps more importantly, there's, um, there's an old um, enemy of Harry in the book that is sort of um, triggers Harry and makes him, um, leave his job as um, uh, at the police school and uh, go back to investigating. I've always been looking forward to, to, to starting a new Harry Hole novel. Um, and, and it always... I don't start writing until I have an idea for a Harry Hole novel. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to write another Harry Hole novel until I come up with that idea. I, know, I probably know I will do at some time because I have this um, long storyline for uh, for Harry, um, but I also had to come up with this idea for um, uh, that it could be an idea for a standalone novel, but that is both um, a standalone story and part of Harry's lifeline. Um, and uh, uh, but I always excited when I sit down and I. Um, I like the idea and I like meeting Harry again. Then again, at the end of the story, I'm, I, I'm probably really tired of Harry and I just want to get away from him because it's a, it's a dark universe. It's, um, it's not a place where you want to stay forever. You, you need to get away from there. I can tell you a secret about the research because normally for all my books, I, I try to do most of the things that the characters in my books do. Um, here I had, and, and here I actually, for the first time, I chickened out. And it was because I'm writing about Tinder dating. And I was, you know, I was really trying, I was trying to talk myself into doing uh, uh, Tinder dating, but I, 
I, I just couldn't get myself to do it. And I think, I don't know if it was that I was embarrassed uh, or I didn't want to put my name out there. Uh, I planned to put my name out there as a writer and explaining why I wanted the date. But I think also it was uh, just the, um, I didn't want to embarrass, you know, the one meeting me for, uh, for a date. So what I did was I, I stayed with, uh, it was a friend of mine, uh, a girl who had just broken up with her boyfriend. So I, I spent time with her and sort of following her Tinder adventures.